Hi, this is Craig, and today we're going to learn about recording electric guitar, but this time a little different. We're going to layer this Stratocaster a couple of times on Kenny's song in my home recording studio. Hi, this is Craig from Craig Colley Music. Welcome wherever you are in the world. Hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to continue recording the song from start to finish, Kenny's song in this case. And we're going to layer this Stratocaster a couple of times along with the other tracks that we've already recorded. Now if you're joining me for the first time on this video, you might want to go back and, I guess the card's over here, uh, go back and look at the previous videos because we've already recorded the grand piano, the bass guitar, the drums, acoustic guitar, uh, another electric guitar part, so this is a second electric guitar part. Electric guitar part. It's easy for me to say, right? This is a creative video where we're concentrating really on playing and not so much on the tech side of everything. There's other videos for that that you can look for on the channel as well. And if you're here for the first time or visiting again and you haven't subscribed yet, probably should if you want to know about the new videos that come out and special things that you're only going to find out as a subscriber. Enough about that. Let's get into the creative. So we're going to take this Stratocaster. Get myself set up here first. I'll be right back. All right, I'm set up here. And let me show you what we have here. I got this nice uh, black Stratocaster. I've had this for years. This is actually not the greatest strap, but I just love this guitar. It has uh, a piece of beautiful neck. It plays great. And I've had it for, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, going on over 20 years thousands of gigs with it and it's actually a, a Mexican made Strat and I picked it up for 200 bucks believe it or not and what I'm going to do is layer just a couple of chunky electric uh, parts on this we're going to play it twice with two different settings so first I'm going to start with the setting a typical Strat setting where you've got it set on in between the last the second and third pickup here it gives it that kind of an airy sound to it and put my glasses on so I can see. I'm going to show you something here on the screen. So my signal is coming in through a tube preamp, a tube compressor, and then going into a analog to digital converter by Motu, Mark of the Unit called, called an M2, which is a, a really great, very affordable unit actually. It sounds great. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is I bring the guitar in completely dry. Now right now, you're hearing this big sound out of it, and that's because I've got it going through this GTR wave setup. And I just select this as a default crunchy sound. This has a series of effects that you can go through. And then it goes through an amp simulator as well. It's on a crunchy setting. Not so much. There's other videos on how this all works. But what I wanted to do is turn this off. And that is what actually is getting laid down in the track. Just the straight guitar without any effects on it. Then when I put this on, then I can have that sound. And then in, in post and mixing, I can change my guitar sound to anything I want. And I know by recording with this sound to begin with, it's pretty close to what I'm going to use in the, in the end result anyway. But maybe not exactly. But I'll be able to tweak it if I don't like it. If I laid it down with exactly as you're hearing it now, couldn't change it later. So I've got a whole different way of doing this. And I have a Another video talks about how I set all this up. Not so much on that today because I want to get into recording. So it's just me in the studio here today running all the equipment and the cameras and the whole switcher and everything and trying to be creative. So I'd like to focus on that as much as possible. But let's get started and uh, you're going to see the track coming in right here when I start playing. The red line is record and the green is for reference of where I am in the song. And also just seeing an, another guitar part I have laid down already through a Telecaster and a bass part here and the drums are down here. But that's all I really need to see right now. And I'm picking it up at the second verse where the entire band comes in.
let it ring. There's a lot of noise there. All right, that went pretty well. There's a couple things I'll go back and fix, but right now for the sake of this video here, I'm gonna go and lay in the second track now. So go back over here, we'll back this up to the beginning. You can see our track that we just did there, this record on this track here. So we're gonna start the same spot and actually come in a little closer there. I'm gonna turn this one off as I record this next track. So I don't need to hear it, I'm gonna play the same spot. After I do this, there will be some touch-ups I will go back and do, and then come back and in our next session, put together the mix and how this is gonna work and the editing the, of the punches and so on. But once again, to keep this creative and not get bogged down by the technology. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm going to play the next track. And now I'm gonna put the pickup switch down all the way to the treble position here. And this will be a little bit, a little edgier this time. And once again, if I turn off, i to grab my other screen here. If I turn this off, my effects, that's the difference in what the guitar sounds like. That's on the treble pickup. And that's on the switch that's in between. We have both. Now, when you're doing layering on the guitar, a lot of people will try and just take their track and double it and pan it, you know, hard left and right and maybe offset it or put delay on it and you have phasing problems and it, it just doesn't sound as good. It's not a second performance. Always best to do a second performance. If you learned it once, why not play it twice? You may not even use it, but at least you're going to have options later as I'll show you as we get into the final mix on that. So, Let's take a run with, with this different pickup setting. And here we go.
then we stop that track. So there we have it. We got our two tracks laid down, two different settings on the guitar. And next thing I will do is go back and touch up a few things. And in the next video, we're going to look at the punches that I did, the corrections, edit them, and then do some layerings of the sound. Uh, so I do this in two separate videos. First is creative, like I said. Second is the tech stuff with the editing and uh, a little more of the tedious work compared to the creative. But it's always important that you rehearse and prepare so when you're doing these tracks, you play it pretty flawlessly and there's always going to be something that you go back and pick up. But technology these days is... Uh, Makes it pretty easy to do that. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video about laying this, uh, layering this Stratocaster here, this old beater Strat as I call it, but still works and uh, <laughs> has served me well. I've done tons of sessions and lots of gigs with this guitar and it's really fun to play. And that's a big part of why I do what I do because it's gotta be enjoyable. So if you haven't subscribed so far, please do. So you don't miss out on any of the premieres that come out and information that I distribute only to subscribers. And also, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one consultation on how I put all this together, uh, the video, the recording, the, how the studio works, we're in a really small space right here, but there's a lot of technology in here, a lot of things going on, and it's got a great sound. Everything's about the sound for me. Lots of videos come in your way with all sorts of things that I do here in the studio from all the different instruments I play and also about even marketing the, the music. So if you want to look me up on all the streaming services, Spotify and Amazon and Apple and Pandora. Just, just speak to Siri or Alexa or whatever you have and just ask for to play my music, it'll come up. And that way you can check out what I do on a finished product basis. But that's it for today. Keeping it short and sweet, laying these two tracks down. And I'll see you in the next video when we pick up and put these things together and show you what it sounds like. The one thing I forgot to mention was please leave a comment. That way I would love to be able to communicate with you questions that you have or anything specific that you would like me to do a video on perhaps in the future. It'd be great to know what you're all about and uh, as you're learning about me and what I do. So that'd be great. Craig Colley signing off from Craig Colley Music. I'll see you next time in the next video. Till that time, take care. And that's it. We're, I do Every time we do this. <laughs> That's it. See you later.